Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm a Social Security Disability Attorney. And today I'd like to talk to you about a medical condition called acromegaly, which is a typically a tumor in the pituitary gland, and explain why this condition is one that is likely to result in an approval for Social Security Disability benefits. So first of all, to understand what acromegaly is, it's basically where uh, there is a tumor in the pituitary gland and, and the pituitary starts pumping out excessive growth hormone. Obviously, in a young child, this is going to result in a child being very large. They call it being a giant. Um, and you've probably seen folks like Andre the Giant, for example, had uh, acromegaly. Um, but in an adult, since the growth plates have closed, what happens is uh, the excessive growth hormone starts to cause physiological changes, such as increase in size of the hands and the feet. It can cause uh, increase in the size of the chin and the forehead. Um, it can also cause problems like enlargement of the heart, um, polyps in the colon. It can result in diabetes, an enlarged tongue, uh, pain in the joints and limitation of mobility, weight gain, fatigue, and of course it can also result in depression because an adult who has uh, looked a certain way uh, for many years is now seeing his or her looks change dramatically uh, and that can be very depressing. And for Social Security purposes, of course, we're focused on how uh, the symptoms uh, of acromegaly uh, are going to impact your capacity for work. And so obviously one thing we're going to look at would be the uh, side effects of medications that that you might be prescribed and a lot of times uh, some of the medications that are prescribed cause a great deal of fatigue um, and that obviously is something that can make it difficult to work. Um, obviously if there's a lot of pain, pain in the joints, that can limit your capacity for lifting and carrying and climbing and crawling and crouching and stooping, so physical issues. And obviously um, if you are over age 50 and meet the grid rules, uh, that can be something that can be used to show that you meet the grid rules. Um, poor concentration, again, you've got pain, uh, headaches or other symptoms that are very common. So if you've got headaches and pain, joint pain, uh, that can result in difficulty with focus and concentration. Uh, it can put you in a bad mood to make it difficult to interact with coworkers and supervisors. And of course, depression about your change in appearance and about feeling rotten all the time. Uh, and also the difficulty of getting this condition under control because um, what I find is that the, the cases I've had uh, with acromatic um, surgery will typically be done to remove the tumor. Many times the entire tumor cannot be removed. Uh, doctors will then go in and try to control the pituitary growth hormone with medications. It's often not successful. And so that, uh, in addition to the change in appearance, can be a very depressing uh, thought that this is something that uh, is going to stay with you the rest of your life. It can shorten your lifespan, make you very uncomfortable. Uh, in some cases, and, and as people get older, they end up in a wheelchair. So it can be very depressing to have this as well. So those, those combinations of the physical limitations, the changes in the organs, again, heart problems are, are very common, diabetes problems are common, um, plus the depression, when you add them all together, Social Security judges typically are fairly willing to recognize that this is a condition that, for many reasons, is disabling. So. My experience with acromegaly is that it is a disabling condition, and especially if it's not one that could be controlled with surgery or medications, uh, then I would definitely look at filing for disability. And again, I think it's probably a winning case. So hope you found this helpful. I hope that if you have any questions about uh, acromegaly or other uh, pituitary or thyroid, any type of gland, glandular uh, problems, please reach out to me. I handle a number of cases in this area, and these are typically very strong cases. Uh, if you like this video, Video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube, like it on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like our Facebook page. Uh, if you have not already done so, my website is ssdanswers.com and I have a survival kit, uh, how to win Social Security Disability, there for free. I urge you to download that. And again, if I can be of assistance to you personally, pl please reach out to me as well. So for now, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, wishing you the best. Thanks a lot. Hi, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to know more about how to win your Social Security Disability case, I'd like to invite you to download my Secrets to Getting Approved Early Survival Kit that I created just for people like you. Currently, I'm making the survival kit available at no cost. 
and I encourage you to grab your copy now. Some of the topics I cover include, how do I know if I have a case? Is it the right time for me to file my claim? Nine common mistakes that can doom your case. The three must-have arguments you use to win your case. And a topic that every disability claimant wants to know, how to avoid trick questions from the judge. If you or a loved one need to win Social Security Disability Benefits, you'll find the Survival Kit Essential Reading. Download your Survival Kit right now and at no cost. Just visit ssdanswers.com backslash survival and sign up. It's that easy. Please act now. And as always, I wish you the best.